Hi Leo, how are you? Welcome to my channel. This is a love romantic relationship reading for you, Leo. I hope you're well. The reading for today, Leo, is Will They Reach Out? Tarot reading session for you. This is for Leo friends. Please universal energy. What can I get for Leo? What is the message for Leo? Will they reach out? Tarot reading session for my Leo friends. So for today, Leo, I'm going to be delivering two messages. One, will they reach out? Intuitive message from your past. And one intuitive message, will they reach out from recent, active, or present connection, okay? So I presume that um, if you've got an active or present connection, you had an argument and you're wondering whether, when will they reach out, okay? So there's two messages for today. If you don't resonate from the first, first one, um, wait for the second one, all right? So let's start from the past. Will they reach out? Person from the past, Leo, Leo. Okay. The star card. The magician card. The four of swords. Okay. Mm. Okay. Now let's look at the energy. Will they reach out? Someone recent. Active connection or present. Will they reach out for Leo, please? Eight of swords. The two of pentacles. The king of swords. The Three of Pentacles. Okay. One more, please. All right. Okay, guys, let's start the reading. So, um, will, your, will your person reach out from the past? I'm seeing here the Star card and the Magician card. Okay. I feel like you guys separated or disconnected because um, one is not making the full effort to make things in full in a full relationship you know this is the magician card in reverse this is there's a potential for you and your person to really have a wonderful connection but one is not a team player because if you look at the magician card you know I'm, I'm being point out to the hands you know it's like so i really feel like your person in the past um they're not prepared to offer you the sincere the sincereness the something that you deserve because the star card when this is an upright position you could be dealing with an aquarius but this is like hope faith dreams this is wonderful card you know this is destiny but it is in reverse so i feel like your person they know that um it's something to do that they don't want to hurt you or something to do with they can't like they want you to be around but they cannot fully commit or offer you some sort of a star quality kind of relationship connection or reconnection okay um they would reach out to you leo four of swords and four of four of pentacles this is four and four so four of swords they think of you they couldn't sleep at night it's more of a person where they cannot move and offer some sort of commitment because of something it will be different from each one of you it's more of they want to keep you reserved or they want to keep you at bay while they figure out something because for four of uh, four of pentacles is here like they release you they haven't for some of you you know four of pentacles and four of swords is that when this person release you it has stressed them because they do like you they have a feelings for you, but they have to detach or release you because they cannot offer you something that you like. And it pains them and it hurts them that they need to release you or detach you because of their fault or of something that they're not prepared to do. Okay. It's more, it's, it's a feeling, it's an energy of, um, I, I will release you, Leo, because if I keep you, I'm just going to hurt you okay so i might just release you but they also struggle when they release you when they detach when they when you guys aren't talking when you guys are separated it gives them some sort of a it wasn't easy all right so it's not easy for them to release you okay but they cannot keep you if they cannot make you happy or i don't want to keep leo if i cannot offer this this star card in upright position um 
it might take a while for your person to call you, to text you, or to be ready. Because right now, they are in a hermit mode. Hermit mode, introspection, thinking, trying to trying their best to be a good person. Um, I feel like they will. They will give you some sort of a hi, hello, a short message. But it, they would still come back from the hermit mode. Because I feel like this four of pentacles in here. Yeah, they they will call you, they will text you to find out how you are, but they still couldn't they couldn't stay. Like they will call you, they will text you, they will check out how you are, but they couldn't stay. They couldn't still they not they're not yet ready to offer that commitment. Although they will touch base with you to check out and to show some sort of care um that they could still reach you. You know, this person does not want to release you, but they have to because they're they're giving you some sort of this dissatisfied result. And it's 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 more of I really I really want to keep Leo, but I'm not prepared to I'm not a better person. I'm not prepared for what Leo wants. So I better release Leo because I'm hurting Leo and I'm hurting myself and it's creating stress. Right now, it's not it's still in the cycle of a mess. Or for some of you, it's still there's still a bit of conflict or struggle because the Ten of Swords is still here. You know, there's going to be, you know, it's the four of pentacles. When I ask that, they will call you, they will text you, but it's going to be one or two message, um, one to two days, but they, they couldn't, they, they can't stay because they're still lingering in the 10 of swords energy. They're still getting out of that bad cycle, like a bad breakup, although they will reach out and text you and, you know, show you that they are around. They want to make sure that you haven't blocked them, that if they reach out, that you are still in speaking term, that you speak to them, that they will get a message back. It's more of, is, is Leo still around? Let me message or text her or text him. And they're happy to receive a reply back. And from then on, they will use that material, that message, and figure what's the next move. It's figuring out. They're figuring out something, okay? It's, there's still a bad cycle in here, so it might take a while. And when, when a person goes to introspection, they will find the light after this, okay? I'm, I'm seeing a new cycle between the two of you around May, May month. This person has, they, have in, they will be in a position to make decision, all right? So, yeah, check back. In the next two weeks, I will do a will they reach out our reading session again. Now, the next six cards here, Leo, this is someone recent, okay? So you might be in a relationship, you fight or you break up. This is your reading, all right? This is recent connection. Um, so for recent connection, you've got Eight of Swords, the Two of Pentacles, the Hangman. I felt like this person is very busy. They hesitate. They they overthink as well they have some sort of hesitation i feel like you know this person if you challenge them like if you challenge them and tell them like okay i want you to make a decision right now will you keep me or will you break up with me i feel like they will break up with you like if you challenge this person they won't choose you because this is them two of pentacles they cannot juggle two things at the same time they struggle to juggle they struggle to juggle, you know, because the hangman is here and the two of pentacles. They're stressed juggling two priorities. So if, for example, you challenge them or you had a fight and you challenge them, let's break up. They will give it to you because it's going to free them up with some time. They don't like to do it, but it, if it's being a burden, they might release you. For some of you, you've got a separation already. For some of you, um, they're still around. Because King of Swords, what I feel for your person, Leo, is that this person is very logical. They operate vi they operate you they operate using their mind. So um, if you are passionate and, and you're fiery, make sure that when you flirt or when you show your passion your desire your love with this person make sure that it is logical okay because i feel like this person is very logical they have a clear thinking so if you have a petty fight if you challenge them or if you pressure them 
they will cut it out okay they're very logical they know what they want they know what's right and wrong so this is a person that you cannot have a mind game because they, because they'll cut it out especially if they've got the two of pentacles you know they're they they're busy but they're also fair because they're logical they know what's fair for you and them so if you play hard to get if you like mind game a bit of ego they'll cut it out because this is a person who's i don't have time for any mind game I don't have time for childish blah 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 if I have time I will call you if I don't please um, please understand they're very flexible they're very logical they're willing to have the two of Pentacles to juggle two things at the same time but it wouldn't give the other one the best quality the other the other Pentacle will get the quality the other one will will not it's more of there's always a sacrifice thing between the two of you But I think, to be honest with you, this person can, because look, look at their throat, it's in green. So this person is willing to talk things through. This person, if you speak to them using a high level of logical and thinking, they're willing to, like, like instead of being emotionally immature or they would listen to you if you if you use a diplomatic conversation because they know that they're not perfect all right this person knows that i'm not perfect and so you are so instead of having a petty fight ego a childish attitude let's just talk see each other eye to eye face to face and let's put in the table what's wrong they're willing to listen very logical willing to compromise but they need to understand you need to come from a very diplomatic conversation and they will listen in fact they would admire you further if you use your brain your logical reasoning versus emotional okay because three of pentacles and nine of swords it's more of it's more of a no i feel like you'd have to poke this person in order for them to call or text you or reply like you need to make a follow-up but make sure that if you do the follow-up it's not clingy it's not um dramatic it's not picking a fight it's more diplomatic and logical that's how you're gonna get their attention Let, let's pull one more card whether this person is interested with you because right now they're very logical there's still emotions in here five of wands are no longer upset the knight of wands but they're they're no longer upset or angry but they don't want to move or flirt with you i think it's you who need to move two of wands yep they don't have a plan of who like of of going after you yeah what's the decision okay they miss you give it some time after after seven weeks for some of you seven weeks seven days they will call you or text you they'll they'll say sorry or they're waiting for you to say sorry um it's a 50 50 i'm really getting like if if you want some result you could follow up but be diplomatic but if you feel like playing hard to get they will eventually sink in and send an apology but it may take a while because look at their cards i'm not I'm, I'm not upset i'm not angry so i don't feel like calling you or texting you now not now um and then having a solid decision to have a page of cups so i feel like when they're no longer busy um when things are more free up when they have free up their time then they will message you it's 50 50 some of you they will reach out some of you you have to reach out okay they miss you all right this person is missing you a lot although they're not prepared to call right away because they've just gotten into the five of wands in reverse they've just gotten to a point that i'm no longer mad i'm not upset but um my passion or interest with leo is um um let's set let's set this set it aside they're setting it aside no plans yet and then i feel like by end of feb there's a change of energy or cycle where hmm something is not working with their life or career that they're gonna switch on to romantic and that's where they think of you okay 50 50 50 50 you will have to reach out by the end of feb 
or they will reach out 50 50 for you leo okay so this is your reading you might be dealing with a capricorn taurus or a virgo aries leo sagittarius gemini libra aquarius and you've got cups so pretty much any sign all right um but you know guys when the message is for you is because you cannot you don't skip you know in in the tarot community the message resonate with you if your ears is burning to listen on it like it's it's you're, you're not going anywhere okay you would know intuitively if this is for you um so yeah this is your reading leo thank you so much for tuning in thanks for being here today you have a great weekend and i'll see you soon again bye bye